Hello everyone, Neil for T-Shares here, coming at you another strategy for Tetra, where we automate your DeFi. Well, today uh, we have some news that came in that Pulse Chain is about six days away from launching. So I thought, well, let's take a look at the Earn protocol from Power City because it just launched on uh, V4 Testnet. Now we're going to take a look at this and see what's going on with this protocol, how it works, and some strategies you can utilize to get the most of this protocol's functionality. All right, now let's take a look at the Earn protocol by Power City and how Tetra can manage the strategy uh, in this protocol specifically. It was just released on uh, Testnet, so I want to take a, a kind of a deep dive into how it works and how you can think about utilizing the protocol's functionality. Uh, what the Earn protocol is is a lending protocol allows you to deposit your uh, Pulse X into their vaults and to borrow stablecoins and to, to receive stablecoins against that Pulse X as collateralized. Okay, so in the protocol you have uh, a vault where you deposit your Pulse X, a stability pool, and Earn staking pool. All right, and so what you do is you come in and deposit Pulse X and receive PXDC stablecoins that you're borrowing against your collateral. And as a the, the, the minimum collateralization rate is 110%. Anything lower than that, then your uh, vault can be liquidated and you'll lose your Pulse X. Okay? But you get to keep what you borrowed forever. And when you borrow something, there is no, uh, there's no uh, time to pay it back or you, you, there's no APY or APR or interest rate to borrow. It's a flat fee to borrow one time. Okay? So that's something to understand. Now, when you borrow something, though, you must have a plan to do something with that loan. You have, now you have some stable coins. What are you going to do with them? Well, they have the stability pool here, and you could take a percentage of your uh, your stable coins and deposit it there. In doing so, you'll receive uh, fees in the form of Pulse X and Earn token when vaults are liquidated. Now, to be, I want you, everybody to think about this and be careful. Do not put all, if you put all your uh, stability uh, uh, your, your PXDC stable coins in the stability pool, there's a chance you could lose them all when other people's vaults are liquidated, or even your own, because that those uh, stable coins go to purchase the pulse X that's in the vaults are liquidated, and then you receive that pulse X as a, a, a here as a as a fee from these liquidated vaults, as well as some earn token that's distributed uh, throughout the system. So be careful how much you put in because if you think you're going to, you can come back and get it out later, it may not be there. You may have pulse X instead, okay? And then you'll still have that you have all pulse X and a debt and no way to get more uh, dollar coins without taking another another loan, okay? But then once you but what you get this uh, these yields though by doing this, you do get uh, the earn token can be can then be deposited into the staking pool, earn staking pool, and you will receive rewards in the form of PulseX and uh, PXDC. And these rewards come from when people take out loans, those fees are distributed to the earn stakers. Okay. Now, at this point, this is something you have to manage manually. And Tetra can do this automatically based upon how much, what percentage of, of a collateralization you want to stay at and what range, as well as how much you want to deposit per, per time. So this can be divided up however you want it, and then go from there. But now, also, what you can do is with these yields, you can take some profits, obviously, and then you can also take this Pulse X and this PXDC you receive and go back to your vault and top off uh, your loan and keep your collateralization rate at a healthy level. And so this is something that you have to do manually because if the market turns and you're closer to being liquidated, you'll be liquidated before you can react. And this is where Tetra can really help by automating this process. Okay. So there's another mechanism that Earn Protocol has. It's called the redemption mechanism. It allows you any time you want to redeem your uh, Pulse, uh, your Pul PXDC stablecoins for Pulse X whenever you want. So. And that has, redemption mechanism has a rate. It's a function of the market, and it, it you can, it's there as you, to be used if if you see fit. Now, because we have to have a plan of what to do, we got to think: what's our next step? What are you going to do with all this loan? So we took a, say say ten percent of this, and put it in a stability pool, and let it you know go through this loop here. What you do with the other ninety percent? Well, there's some options out here. First, one option may be: hey, let's. That's a, let's use an arbitration option with uh, 
uh, the PXDC we borrowed and maybe uh, try to arm some other stables with it. Because once they move, go from PEG, there's an option to uh, trade around and make some extra money on your loan. Another option was you could go and say, hey, maybe the PulseX uh, uh, on the DAX, the PulseX DAX, has a better rate than the Redemption. And if I want to redeem to get more pulp my PX uh, DC, I can get a better rate than I can redeeming it in the in the, in the swap. And maybe I'll be out I'll be in a better position if I want to use PulseX for something else. Let's say single side staking or whatever. So let's say, you know, I take this. I want a single side stake, but I can say say five percent more if I just go to PulseX versus Redeem, and then go to single side staking and use PulseX for that. Okay, that's one option there. Another option would be what if you had the um, if the PX uh, the Pulse the, the dollar coin the PXDC dollar coin and the PulseX uh, pair has a better is better than the loan amount you took out. So let's say you deposited say a hundred thousand PulseX in the vault, and you know. And you got whatever the loan amount was. Well, if you went took that loan and bought PulseX in the open market, you might get even more uh, PulseX than you had in the original loan. Okay, especially if you get to the the, high, the close to the, 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 the liquidation rate. If that's the case, you might as well just get liquidated because you'll be better off. Because in, in the end, you'll have a positive amount of PulseX when the process is over, less, you know, gas fees and slippage. So that's one way to do it. And another way you could do, look at this is you could take your, your, your PXDC stablecoin and maybe uh, purchase other yield-bearing assets. There are many out there that will be available in the uh, Pulse Chain ecosystem or maybe deposit it into a lending protocol for yield. The choice is yours. Anyway, these are just some options you have with the ERN protocol that can be uh, used on Pulse Chain. And so I encourage you to go test that and play with and play with the uh, protocol, because right now we're going to, I'm going to show you the uh, the UI and the functionality. And I have two segments coming up, uh, kind of discussing these ideas and concepts. And ha but in the end, as you can see, if you're going to manage this every day, you need to be watching the uh, the Pulse X price, and then making sure your collateralization is always healthy, that you'll get liquidated, and then any. Uh, Stability pool and earn pool tokens are used, you know, uh, uh, intelligently to maintain your vault status and take profits. So, well, let's go take a look at the the UI now and see how Tetra can help us from here. Okay, everyone, let's take a look at the earn protocol from Power City. Uh, this is the user interface when you go to the PowerCity.io uh, website, uh, earn.powercity.io, and here you can see your main dashboard when you connect. Once your wallet's connected, your wallet will show up here. Here's my test wallet, and then I have some PLSX already in my wallet, and some PXDC just kicking around. I was playing with it earlier. I haven't have any earned yet, and so, but that's okay. Um, but what I want to do in this video is just kind of talk about uh, this type of these type of protocols, these lending protocols. What's the purpose, and how they're going to really benefit us in the Pulse Chain ecosystem? In an ecosystem, so. The question I ask yourself is, first of all, why do you even want to use a protocol like this? Now, you can choose to support the stability pool without having to borrow anything, and you'll receive rewards in uh, EARN and PLSX when uh, uh, liquidations occur, okay? Um, and, and the EARN, they can be st staked into the EARN pool, and you will um, share take a share of the borrowing and redemption fees. So what we're going to do here, I want to start off with, I'm going to... I have some PXDC already in my uh, thing. I'm going to deposit 100 PXDC just for the sake of doing it. Hit confirm. Okay. All right. And so I'm purposely doing this just to, just to, to show you our transaction went through. And now I have 100 PXDC in Spilly Pool. Okay. Now, eventually, though, I know that as false liquidated, some of my PXDC will go to pay for the liquidation to buy the asset, the Pulse X, and distribute to uh, myself and other uh, depositors. That's the purpose of it. So I can't guarantee this PXDC is going to sit here uh, as PXDC in this stability pool. Okay? So I must know that ahead of time. 
And I think there's some confusion. People don't understand that that's the purpose of the ability pool to provide stability to the system. Okay, that's how it works. Now, as of now, it's paying at 7.45% APR, which is good. And this little thing will tell you how it's calculated, okay, once you go to it. But now we're going to open a vault. I'm not sure we're going to mess around. We're going to open a vault. So what we're going to do here is open a vault. And let's say I want to put in... One hundred thousand, uh, one hundred thousand pulse acts. I'm gonna borrow, and I'm gonna purposely borrow where I can get liquidated here on purpose. I'm gonna try to liquidate myself. Let's see here. I'll tell you what. I have. I can do more than that. Let me do five hundred thousand. Okay. And I want to borrow all I can here. Let's see here. Almost. It's the C24500. Almost. 100. 252. 242. Almost. 24 even. Alright. 24 and 50. Close. 90. Close. Oops. 100. 120. 130. There you go. We'll go 131. I'll be 135. 6. I'll swing it just over. 7. There you go. 24, 137. I can't do it. I gotta, I gotta get. Oh, oops. Jumped on me. Price moved. <laughs> there you go. Confirm for price was any more on me. There we go. Okay, so now I just borrowed twenty four thousand one hundred twenty uh, PXDC stable coins for a half a million pulse acts just now, at the lowest possible collateralization rate of one hundred ten point one percent. Now I'm hoping to get liquidated here. I'm gonna show you what's gonna happen. Because remember, I put one hundred PXDC in the stability pool. Okay, now. Let's see. We can go up to here to Risky Vaults, and that vault, my, my wallet will show up. There's my collateral, and there's my debt. Okay, twenty-four five fifty-two. That's what I owe to pay it back. Now, the price is moving like normal. Uh, this won't. This will not. Uh, this will not liquidate without until it's one hundred ten point zero. So what we'll do? Go at the dashboard. And I'm gonna try to make this go by borrowing us a little bit more money. So let's see what happens if I can borrow. The ten dollars. Let's see if it'll do it. Yep. I'm borrowing nine more for nine dollars and forty-eight cents of PXDC here. This will put me at exactly the liquidation rate of one hundred ten percent collateralization ratio. Let's see what happens. We're going to risky vaults. We'll see what we should, this should change to change once the uh, transaction approves to 110.0 percent. One of these days, come on. Network slow tonight, folks. It's slow. I guess everybody knows Richard's tweeting about Pulse Chain about the launch, so I don't know if people are excited or what. There it goes. Alright, it went through. This should this should update here in a moment. Once the let's, see, let's refresh this. Let's see what happens. There it is. Alright. Now I can liquidate. So we're gonna liquidate I'm gonna liquidate myself here. When I do I'll get fifty bucks too. So maybe I beat me to it. Looks looks like. Let's see. Yep. So somebody beat me to it. Okay, that's fine. Still, probably pro whoever did is probably processing the uh, yeah transaction. So I should be liquidated here at any moment. Okay. So that should liquidate that uh, vault. Okay. Now. 
we'll see when the vault gets liquidated that I will lose some of my PXDC in the stability pool, right? Because it's going to go to basically buy some of the, this pulse I have in here and distribute that pulse then to me and to the others of the stability pool. Let's see here. Oh no. Yeah, it's not wanna it's not wanna let me liquidate myself. I did it before, just messing around earlier. I don't know if the network's busy or I might have to borrow some more money. Let's see what happens. Some, a few more dollars, uh, three dollars and eighty-seven cents of PXDC. Let's see what happens. While well, that's going through, we're going to go to uh, the exchange and we're going to see something. We'll look at something here. Right now, on the exchange, PXDC, one PXDC is worth two dot two T die. So that's kind of odd. That that's what the exchange is, is saying. So there's obviously some messed up monies going on here. If we go to, let's see here. I don't know. There's no other good stable coins on here that's really pe pegged worth the, worth the flip. I'll show you all something in a second. Okay, so now. Now, obviously, Pulse X just went in value because now my collateralization rate is now 116%, so I can't liquidate so the price just went up. Well, it happens, okay? That's that's part of having a, a, a highly volatile asset. Let's, ch let's check Pulse, actually, what it's doing right now. The price. Yeah, price just went up. That's what happened. Significantly, actually. All right. So what we'll, we'll do is we'll just try to liquidate this again. We'll adjust this. and I'll borrow another, some more money. Let's see what happens if I go 500. Hundred. Oh, well. Let's see here. Eight. Let's go twenty-five thousand. Wow, went up a lot. All right, twenty-six thousand. A little much. Let's go five nine. Fifty nine. I bought another fourteen hundred ninety dollars just now. Okay. The yeah, price moving against me earlier. I thought this would work easier, but somebody's buying, uh, selling up, or buying a bunch of pulse X and causing the price to go up. Anyway, right now on the exchange, I can exchange one PXDC for thirty-eight pulse. Okay. So there we go. So if we go to the redemption mechanism, though, if I want to redeem one, just one, PXDC, I will receive 17 pulse acts. So I want you to look at the difference. I can get 38 pulse acts on uh, on pulse acts exchange, but in the protocol I can only get 17. So there's almost a two to one ratio of the dollar value because how it's skewed right now in the system now this shouldn't happen on um, on mainnet but what what, the, what we're running into here is there's nobody doing arbitration to push these prices closer to peg that's what's happening so if we go to um, the stable coin as you can see look at the price it's moving up and down way too much dollar 35 dollar 26 dollar 36 all the way down to 84 cents back and forth and then there's no bots running arbitration. See, you just went up to dollar nine just now, okay, for our stable coin. And, that's, and we don't want this in Pulse Chain. We want our stable coins to be stable, right? And so that's important to have arbitration to keep these things 
And it says right here, the redemptions are expected to be carried by bots, right? Well, I don't want to take a loss on this, so I'm not going to redeem right here. Because if I redeem it, I'm going to lose less um, pulse. But I'll go ahead and see how much I got. I'll, I got, so I'll do, a, I'll say, 100 for the sake of doing it. And I'll redeem, and I'll receive 1,700 pulse sacks, okay? But I could, I could get way more. 3,800 if I did it over here, okay? So, I'll let that go through the confirmation, show you how that works. But what we got to think about, though, is all right, we've done that. Now, let's we'll check our dashboard. All right, look, risky vaults. Here we go, risky vaults. I can like liquidate myself. Here we go, we're liquidation. Price went back down. Let's see what happens. Let's go look at the price of Pulse X. I guess it went down, but anyway. I can still liquidate myself, which is what I'm trying to show y'all. Now. now this is 500,000 pulse X I'm fixing to lose. I want y'all to look at this right now. And I borrowed like $26,025, okay? Works being slow. I'm gonna refresh this and see if it shows me the being liquidated yet. There it goes. Oh, a failed transaction. No. Let's try it again. Alright, let's see if it goes through. So I had so you all remember, I had 500,000 pulse X, and now I have borrowed $26,025 in total against my collateral, okay? All right, went through. Boom. Gone. Go to the dashboard. My vault has been liquidated. Yay. Done. Now, see what happened? Look at you, man. Look at my stability pool balance. That 100 PXCC I put in there, 0.01 was taken amongst all the other people who had money in the stability pool and they bought all that pulse X at $26,000 worth of pulse X up and I've received 0.1353 pulse X as for that one penny of PXDC when this was, my vault was liquidated. So that's what happens and that's how this functions, okay? And I wanted to kind of show you all this these type of things. Now because it was only a penny's worth, I didn't earn enough to have earned, which is okay in this, in this particular instance and I'll show you all that in just a second. But, um, uh, that's how the function, this thing functions, and this is how you can look at the earn protocol and, and see what you can do with it and how you can earn fees. But I'm going to show you one other thing. Now, because of the arbitrage opportunity that exists, I can go here. I know I have some PXDC that I borrowed, the 25646. All right. Let's see. It's 20, it's 25, oh, it's 25, 50, I think it was. 25050 or something like that's what I borrowed or 060 right that's what I borrowed I'm gonna swap for pulse X if y'all remember my original amount that I had deposited into the pulse X uh, in the, 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 the earned dashboard was a half a million tokens I'm fixing to receive 898 thousand tokens by arbitraging between the two thus increasing my position in to in total so once that goes through uh, I'll have more than I started with because I had a total 802,000 I think in my in my wallet I borrowed five now I ended up with 1.2 million so I've gained uh, another 398 thousand pulse X tokens by arbitraging between the vault the borrowed amount and what I can get it in the pulse X exchange for from that ratio and that's important to consider when you are doing these trades especially once mainnet opens 
even before ERM protocol is on in the play, there's a lot there's a lot of ratios you can consider, and you need to have you exchange up. You need to have these prices. You need to be look at your pools, what's available, what is being what is what you can trade PXDC for, whether it's Pulse or Pulse X and stuff or Hex. What kind of deals you can get when you go to trade? Okay, so we looked at the functionality and how the ERM protocol works, and and you may be asking yourself a question. Look, Neil, you're 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 the Tetra guy. My strategies. Why in the world are you looking at the me mechanisms of ERN and tell us how to how to use the use it use the user interface? Well, I wanted you to understand the mechanisms involved and why things work the way they do. Because when Tetra launches and we design strategies, we have to understand how protocols function. And if you don't understand that, you're not really going to be able to design a strategy that's effective or how to fix one that won't run right when you test it, okay? And that's what we want to look at. And so, what I want to ask now, I want to just think about this. We're going to talk about <coughs> how to come up with a strategy to use EARN and this protocol that's, that Power City has to to our maximum benefit. Now, and how Tetra can help manage the things. So first of all, we have to have a plan before we start anything. Why do you want to take a loan out? That's the first question you have to ask yourself. What's the point? All right. If I've if I've sacrificed or a purchase or accumulate PL uh, Pulse X, why do I want to borrow against it? What's the purpose? Okay. If I do borrow against it, am I willing to let that loan stay open? Um, and then use that capital for something else and always be at risk of liquidation unless I change my collateralization rate to a, a super safe level, okay? So what's your plan? What are you going to do with the money, all right? Now, I'm going to show you something with, with people I've, I've noticed people complaining about and how it could get you in, in, in a situation where it may not be the best in the world. So if you open a vault, we're going to open a vault real quick. I got plenty of pulse X here. There's 500,000 pulse X. I increase my, my I got change permissions here. So it'll, it'll let me do what I got to do. But we're going to borrow some money. Uh, and we're going to ask ourselves a question about this, all right? What are we borrowing it for? Okay, it went through. Okay. How much do I want to borrow? Well, let's say um, right now what would be a thousand percent would be say ten thousand dollars. No more less than that. I'll say five thousand. Nope. Twenty five hundred. Alright. Here. Alright. Half a million pulse X at, at today's rate at a half, at five cents a piece, it gives me allows me to borrow twenty five hundred. Uh, PXDC coins, right? We can confirm that. Boom. Now, I have 2,500 PXDC t tokens. What am I do with them? Right? Well, this thing called stability pool. So, do I'm asking myself a question? Do I really want to put 2,500 PXDC in the stability pool? What will I get? Well, I will get PLSX and earn rewards by depositing the PXDC. All right. Let's, let's look at that. Well, as soon as this confirms, we'll go to the next step. Now, you, ask your, you need to ask yourself a question. Is this something you want to do? This is why I, I, I want to do I'm doing this video to show people how they can either be smart or how they can wreck themselves by playing with these protocols and not really fully understanding how they function. Okay, I went through. I have now 2,500 uh, PXDC. Or they're about, or this 2583, and I'm going to deposit. I'm here, I'm going to deposit what I borrowed, which was 2583.56. All right, same amount. Confirm. Confirm. All right. Now I'm pausing my, my borrowed amount of, PL, uh, of PXDC in the stability pool, okay? Now, just like I said before, <clears throat> that this money though that's in here, this this stable coin, is not it's not a fixed number. This will fluctuate and go down as liquidations happen. Okay, so if you take your money, you borrow, and you stick in stability pool, you're going to lose it. 
or portions of it as liquidations happen. If we go to Risky Vaults, we can see that this person's got a lot, 2.6 billion pulse acts. Uh, for collateral, because he's borrowed 125 million PXDC, he's at 119%. If Pulse go, X goes south in sales, his vaults can be liquidated. That means everybody's vaults are going to have to help buy $125 million worth of PXDC to pay for all this PSL, PLSX that's in here. So we're going to buy up this uh, 2.62 billion. Uh, uh, yeah, one, two, yeah, no, 2.62 million pulse X from this vault when it goes uh, into liquidation. Okay, so that means every bit of this money I have here will be gone, and I will receive the PLSX at a discount upon that liquidation event. Okay, so that means I still owe $2,583. Now, there's an opportunity here, though, if I do get some liquidations. I could have opportunity to sell the PLS, PLS, PLSX for more than my debt is. That's possible to be able to satisfy the debt or help pay it down, increasing my, increasing my collateralization ratio, okay? But if PulseX takes a dive right now, it drops 9%, that means my ratio is going down too. So if I set this ratio at, say, 120%, I've been at risk of liquidation as well, you see. So that's something you got to consider. And so if you have a plan to take your what you're borrowing to use to make more money, then it's dumb. Don't do this. So once you get to this point and you, you decide to do this move here, unless P, uh, P Pulse X goes up in value, you're going to be stuck owing the money and have a, less, a, a lesser value asset. So keep that in mind when you play around with these things and make strategies. Now, as far as the earn token, I had a few earn I threw in here just to, to see and show y'all. And right now I've earned point, uh, uh, point 0.13 PXDC from me taking out this loan because I'm the last person I think to took a vault out just in the last few seconds. I don't know if any others. Are, maybe somebody else took one out, but there's only 300 and, uh 62 volts right now. So, of the 362 people, when I took my uh, made this made this loan, I got 0.13 PXDC as issuance gain from t the the fee to take my loan out. Okay, and until somebody gets liquidated, nobody I'm not getting any PLSX or any earn token. So we're waiting on the liquidation now. If I want to, I can liquidate myself again like I did last time. I'm not going to go through that process. But you'd see that it would take um, probably just a, a dollar or two from my from here to help pay for uh, to buy back my PLSX that is in the, the vault. Okay? But this is the point. So, don't, so what I want to show you is, in this, is collateralization ratio. If I want to stay using Tetra and I want to manage this as far as a, a personal strategy, I may not take this money and put it in stability pool immediately, or at least all of it. I may take a percentage of it, let's say, and I can adjust it here. I can say, well, we want to take off only, I'm going to put 10% in. I'm going to draw some, basically. Let's say I only put 10% put in stability pool, okay? Now, uh, if I do that, now I have enough cash to do some other else with it. What can I do? Well, maybe I can go to uh, uh, Fiat and do something with it. Maybe I can, I can deposit in there and earn yield on my stable coins as, and let people borrow, uh, use them as, as collateral to borrow against and earn yield there. Then by the time I, my APY is enough, I can come back and start paying some of this down to, to keep this collateralization ratio up, right? Um, Maybe I can go do an arbitrage, use arbitrage opportunities, which I showed you earlier that you can go and take your PXDC right now and swap it out for PLSL, uh, Pulse X on the exchange and be better off, pay this off, and be and have more Pulse X in the end. Okay, we've already done, done that, and that may not be the same main net, but those opportunities exist in, in smaller amounts, and it may be where you can take and swap your your uh, PXDC, say maybe for Hex.
then for Paul Saxon, make make a, a deal that way because maybe the, the pools the ratio in these pools are skewed enough where you can make those gains with the differences in the pools, and that's important. It needs to happen because we need to keep these things all within the same you know value throughout the throughout the ecosystem. And what Tetra is going to do, Tetra will have, will have ways to automate this arbitrage opportunity, especially with, between the stable coins themselves. And so we will have that uh, that that uh, apparatus available, as well as uh, making sure that the redemptions happen when they're supposed to. Uh, so this uh, this we will Tetra will have a uh, a function that will always be searching for, to liquidate these vaults that become at risk. Let's see. This was not let me do it because nobody's below 110 yet. So anyway, uh, the Tetra will have this also, and we will have the way to uh, make sure that uh, like the Earn Protocol and Liquid Loans, and maybe Liquid if it ever if it comes over by itself or somebody forks another copy, whatever it may be, that to keep these the system healthy, we will make sure all these things are, are going through, and our uh, automation is uh, liquidating as well as arbitraging to keep these things in peg so so the, so let's look at the, another way to take your take use your uh, uh, this as a, uh, a possible strategy now the earn token if you try to buy it right now I think it's it's like stupid expensive let's see what earns running now real quick your earn is a hundred and three Hundred and three bucks right now. Let's see, yeah, hundred and fifteen dollars per token, which is really expensive. So the question you ask yourself: Why in the world would anybody want to buy, spend hundred some dollars per token when they can just get them for free in this, by being in the stability pool, right? That that's that's the thing. So now I don't know what's going to happen when the, when, the uh, when distribution of earned tokens happen uh, from the uh, an airdrop that possibly might do in the future, but whatever happens, uh, don't waste your money uh, buying tokens that have a very low percentage of revenue because you overpay for them, it'll take you forever to get your money back. Okay, so be careful with that. But if you are going to provide some stability with the knowledge that you are going to lose your tokens more than likely, or a portion of them, and you get a PLS extra discount, Tetra will be able to manage this. And do the, and claim this for you, and basically be pressing these buttons for you, and you can claim any earnings you have to put back in here to top off your vault to, to keep your collateralization up, or and take your earn and go in here and then uh, get your gains from here. In this case, PXDC, which you can then go back and help pay back your debt to keep your collateralization up, or go to the stability pool to increase your earn token uh, earnings. But all these things must be taken into account. So when you design these strategies in Tetra, you must think about how these protocols function, okay? How, and then, as well as, the, there's a redemption option here, too. You can redeem your PXDC for PLSX. As I showed you earlier, though, it's not it's not a very good idea because right now, the ratios are off and you get less uh, PLX, PLSX this way, okay? So, but I wanted to just, just think about this when, when you go and, do, and there's our designing strategies how these things operate and function. And before Tetra launches, we'll be doing this manually, so be careful when mainnet, because we just got this tweet from Richard just a few minutes ago at the, at the, at the, at the recording of this video on 5-10-23 that uh, within seven days, mainnet's going to launch, okay? So, familiar yourself, familiarize yourself with Pulse X. Open up some several tabs, especially things like you're trying to if you if you were trying to uh, look at arbitrage opportunities, check out the pairs of different tokens, it's like the PXDC and Brat Pulse, and then have a, you want to look at the ratio between PXDC and T All right, there it is. One, it's two to one right here, right? It's one PXDC to five Rat Pulse. Let's see here. It's a PXDC and Pulse X. One to 36. And the redemption and earn is one to 17 at the moment, if I'm mistaken. 
Yeah, one, uh... Yeah, one to 17. So, there's your... There's your numbers there. You need to look at these things. Look at these ratios and see what's going on before you start trading. Well, you'll get wrecked out there. And, and just, just be mindful what you're trading into. Okay? Let's do one more here. Let's look at hex PXDC, okay? One PXDC is 25 hex. Okay? So, I mean, if you have a lot of hex, you can get a lot of PXDC. I don't know. It's, in turn, you can trade for Pulse X or whatever, which you can turn deposit and borrow more PXDC, maybe to get liquidated to get more Pulse X. However you want to do it. All these are options right now you can play around with on testnet, but when mainnet launches, though, you must have a plan. All right. If you don't have a plan in place, do not go randomly kick, clicking buttons and, and and taking loans out and depositing money because you'll lose all your, your all your stable coins, and you'll be, have a bunch of pulse acts. Don't get me wrong, but until the pulse X goes up, you're still going to owe this money back to this vault. Okay. So just be mindful and and, and be careful out there, y'all, when y'all interact. And when Tetra launches, uh, we'll have videos showing how it works and how it, it, it will automate all this process, how the arbitration will work, and how we'll have uh, automatically uh, uh, seek for liquidations in both earn and um, uh, liquid loans, as well as the uh, buy and burn function for Pulse X. So, anyway, I just want to show you all this today. It's just a, little, it's a long video showing a, a live feed with what's going on. But I just felt like I need to talk to you all about this, and I had some requests, and people were kind of confused, and, and it's a lot to think about. And be smart, do your research, look at the ratios on PulseX, what you're trading for what, and don't just click buttons randomly. And hopefully, if you're smart and are patient and have diamond hands, you'll make bad gains. Not that this is not that this is financial advice or anything. Well. I know this was a different video than my last ones, and uh, displaying a live uh, demonstration of user interface is always challenging. But anyway, uh, will be more videos like this when Tetris user, user interface is available for everybody to see. I hope you all learned something, and I hope this is a beneficial video. If you would, please like, share, subscribe to this channel. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. Also, please come visit us on our Telegram, where we discuss uh, these protocols and strategies, and the links below in the, ch in the description. Well, I know it's exciting. In a couple days, we'll have the main net launch of Pulse Chain, so I hope to see you there, and I wish everybody a, a good time trading, and just be smart, be careful, and have diamond hands. Well, that's all for today. This is Deal for T-Shares, signing off with another strategy for Tetra. Have a nice day, and take care.